Hello everybody, my name is Tokriva and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 as Burgundy, episode number 46 already. The year is 1670, which means we're only 150 years away from the end of the game. And we are warring against France as well as Austria and the Pope. And we are basically sieging up everything in France and they don't have anything to really stand in my way right about now um we're way whoa we're actually very close to finishing off economic ideas and then we can just uh, well i think we're actually going to do the technology first because we are falling behind if we get a 20 percent neighbor bonus in diplomatic we already get a five percent bonus and in military we have no bonus because we're way ahead in time anyway let's unpause the game I can already choose a new idea group. Ah, they are um, Cologne entered. Magdeburg left the coalition. So, well, coalition targets France, Sardinia, Austria, Cologne, Palatinate, Switzerland, and the Pope. Lots of uh, peasants everywhere, though, but not in our country. So, yeah, we have 5,000 troops against us. That's all that the enemy has against our... Well, more than 100,000. Oh, they got a unit, but are actually in a battle right now. So, it's probably Austrian troops. Well, what do we have here? The province of Cree is now considered a part of our patrimony. So, let's build a level 2 fortress. Um, we no longer care for the people who embrace Flemish. Uh-oh. That's actually not good. Which means that... Hmm... Yeah, yeah, this is annoying, this loses us quite some tax base, actually, because we have too many French people, I guess, so Flemish is not accepted anymore. Ugh, this is annoying. There are only five provinces that are Flemish, though, and it would cost me 350, um, ex uh, hang on, uh, successful bureaucracy. Um, not right now, yeah, we'll lose 10, but fine. So, 8, so 6 is 14, uh, is 22, 30, 36 times 25 is 900 diplomatic power to get all of our Flemish culture area into uh, Burgundian, and that's actually what we're going to spend most of uh, our the current... Uh, diplomatic power on after we get uh, first we will get this tech and then we will start converting everyone because this does cost us a lot of income it, it went down by three holy crap um, how is the enemy doing still only around 5,000 people so we just need to finish the sieges and then take some land which does cost us some uh, administrative power as well hmm yeah, England is still working here, but uh, now that they have uh, taken over these, they should be able to finish real soon in that war, I would hope for them. Um, peace from Magdeburg, someone, something, somewhere. Um, didn't France have some colonies? Yes, it does, here in Africa. And actually on the east coast as well. Ooh, I would love to send a ship there, but then again, you must remember that... Uh, Enemy waters and territory is kind of annoying, so home waters is something you do need to be in. Um, we've improved relations with Cologne to the maximum level, so he's now back. So we do have, yeah, 480 is what we need in diplomatic power. 42% here, should be done soon. Yeah, this war has been won, we just need to siege up enough area to get war score. Uh, this is still quite weird. They have 99, but they don't consider it to be won a war. Oh well. That's just the AI being annoying. Yeah, for uh, in the disadvantage of uh, Britain there. We have won our first siege, which is good. So uh, there is a revolt possible there as well, though. But let's continue to the next area. And we'll get our tech in this turn. Um, we have crap. 
Of course this happens and we need to resend our colonist. It's just our luck. Anyway, tech level 22 for diplomatic and now we're ahead 13 years. So we do have some diplomatic power to spend on the Flemish uh, area. So once we have 200 we will start converting Antwerp. Anyway. And we should start sieging again in Poitou. So, um, oh, uh, Bit B has become self sustaining, so we'll make it into a core. Are we not done in Muscree yet? Naval research is wrong. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll ignore them. We have 10 right now. And that will lose us diplomatic power, which I right now don't want to lose. Uh, another tech. Oh, yes, administrative tech. Um, I do want to finish up this first, and that will make us more money. And we will reduce, we can now reduce inflation wherever we want. They should also have unlocked some of our national decisions, such as agricultural cultivation, production efficiency plus 5%, and only a 2% tech cost increase. So we'll do this. And the Mining Act is five less uh, trade efficiency, but 5% tax efficiency. So we'll do the Mining Act as well. It does cost us a lot of administrative power, but it's good for us. Mercantilism, Importation Act. 10% uh, yeah, trade income, but the technology cost is a bit more steep than I would like to see it. So... Now we have 70% production efficiency and 90% trade and 64 tax. So these sieges, there we go, another siege has finished up. Um, I will send these guys to Faltz to siege uh, the Papal State. Maybe we can get that territory from it, that would make it look much better actually, yeah. We will need a lot of, oh, salt is now considered a part. And which means we will build the Earth Rampart. There we go. So how are the buildings looking? That's not the one that I needed. So basic buildings, level 3 fortresses. Everywhere where we... Yeah, so everywhere has a level 2 fortress or is building it like this one. So that's good. And of course in Europe everything is already at that stage. Marketplaces I can add but not necessary at this point. So what are we going to get from this war? Which is interesting. Might take faults because it's... I mean, 2% attrition? Really? Why is it so high? And turn the other's cheek fully defensive. Oh, um, we've gained colonialism, so our colony is set up again. So let's, let's have a look at the Papal State. Um, turn the other cheek. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a special idea, I think. Either religious or divine idea. So we get a lot of attrition in that territory, which is annoying. And new monarch. Gerhard Krumtum, Pomerania. Islamic center of scholarly in Morocco. Okay. Whatever. Ah, another siege is finished, which is good for us. So we'll send them to Limousine, and well, actually I want to send them through our own territory just to avoid a big attrition hit on these guys as well. Um, so we now have a 6% score, Cologne left the coalition, very nice. So who's still in it? France, Sardinia, oh we took Anjou. So yeah, these guys will have to go through uh, these five, but that's fine. Augsburg declares war, removing heresy. Ah, we have Ile de France. So I'll take these forces out actually completely. I want no, I want you guys in Antwerp. And we've lost our colony again. And we won another siege. So we're now at 15% war score. When it should add up very fast once we have some more here. Anyway, we've lost our colony again in Africa, because we simply have no way to sustain it. So I might as well just continue on in North America instead. A lot more safe. Uh, this is wasteland. This is not. Neither is this, actually. Do I still have another colonist available? Really? 
I sent him... No, Moose. I'm actually not colonizing anything right now. Okay, so we do need to re send this second guy as well. Whoops. Anyway, that was just oversight. I don't think... Not sure how long it's. Uh, he's been free, but cannot be way too long anyway. So fifteen percent is our war score. Um, yeah, we are losing a heck of a lot of uh, this. So how's the? Oh, we're not even raising war taxes. Yeah, this is going up because of the consistent attrition in these areas. But that's fine. We have hundred uh, percent. Religious unity, so nothing can happen there. We have some, of course, there are revolts possible in the entirety of the French area. Hey, another siege. Um, oh crap, it wasn't our war. Ah, uh, fuck, it wasn't our own war. So, anything we could have gotten, we've just missed out on. Anyway, so we have uh, 781, a 702, a 683, a 302, and a 1002. So I think that the 1002 and the 781 are supposed to get together. And I believe the other two are also supposed to get together. We'll see in a jiffy how that looks. Yeah, that was unfortunate that I completely forgot that. And the Hans are now once an alliance, which is okay, I guess. Um, hmm. So any of our neighbors not in the coalition against me, so I can declare war and take land from you. Um, I can, I guess I can info, oh, improve relations with the Palatinate um, to get them a little more happy with me. So if we combine these guys, we'll get to 1687. And if we combine you guys, we have 1783. 1885 is what I want. So 16, 17. Um, I need to move at least two of these off. Two artillery need to go to the other group. Yeah, then, yeah, I think we lost some units uh, somewhere in the meantime. 1885, 1685, this will now be 1785. Oh, this actually means I simply have one too many on this group. What do you know? Who'd have thunk? And we'll send you to Rethel. Uh, you guys need to stop your forced march because it's costing us stuff I don't want it to cost. So... We can form the Dutch nations, we gain, yeah, we still lose way too much land to the French if we do this, so, not happening. I'd much rather take over everything in France and become France itself, because that's even more funny. Um, coalition, we're in the coalition against France, that's good. So, not in the coalition would be, um, Cologne is now not in the coalition. Magdeburg is not in the coalition. We're actually allied with the Hansa, so that's good. But I feel that we could start a... Yeah, I'm gonna stop your relation improvement and claim Lombardia. Let's see how long that takes and how expensive it will be. So it will take how long... Uh, just over a year, so just get a, get going on that. We'll soon have enough to start converting uh, Antwerp, their culture. We've stopped improving with the Palatinate, and they're still against me, which is sad. Um, we could start improving on these guys, but I would rather fabricate a claim on Faltz, to be honest. That's much more fun. That will make our borders look a little bit nicer. Um, spread of disease. Oh, hello. Um, natives lose size quite a lot. Attempt to assuage their pain. Settler chance, overseas income. Uh, yes, I will do this one. It doesn't lose us a lot of people that we might be able to reincorporate into the country. So, I can still build three temples on this side of the world, so I'd rather do that. Uh, let's see. Armories. 
Might as well. It gives well we do have a really high maximum manpower. Um constables, yes. Constables. Russell Nemur 1.6. Barry is all, no Orleans is a 2.0. So please. Um another 1.6 here and Barry Provence is also a full two. 1.8 in Koblenz, and that's about all my money. No, it's actually all my administrative points. Yeah, that will make our income even bigger again. 30. We are still at max maintenance of everything, and we're still making 30 gold every month right now. Because our trade is going very well. I mean, we're taking... Oh, there's 26 now. We longer, no, we longer claim Nassau. That's too bad. So we are getting Genoa. We are actually Frankfurt. Um, court painter available. Very expensive. 10 prestige and 1 stability. Um, I'll lose the prestige because we're at max stability and I don't want to lose that much money if we don't get anything out of it. So that's 13.6. We're actually transferring more out of London than we're putting into it. So that's very good. Um, Bordeaux. We're not transferring anything despite getting some power in the node that's it we are transporting 3.0 oh, that's not good we need to transport it this way silly us <sighs> yeah that's something you have to really really be on your toes about so now we're transporting more money and now we should make even more money so right now we are up by maybe five gold wow that went fast um, let's see, are there any more ideas that might improve our uh, economic situation when it comes to trade? Well, expansion gives another merchant and also another colonist, but... Hmm. Diplomatic relations plus two, also very good to have, but yeah. Shipbuilding diplomatic reputation. And causes belly against nations in Asia, but it's another. Yeah, I still think this will be the better idea. Such as adaptability, claim fabrication, counter revolution, diplomatic influence, flexible negotiation, of course. But then there's also quantity, which I do want. Uh, no, quality, quality. Uh, combat abilities go up as well as a final 15% discipline. So good. Anything here, yeah, innov innovative will be good uh, for us. Tech, tech cost minus 5%, but it's still administrative. And this is something to only think about when we really catch up on the administrative stuff. Anyway, let's start converting Antwerp before I completely forget. Oh, we've been discovered by Milan. How long are you still going to work there? Oh, you're only at 37%, damn it. Oh, well. That was just too bad, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, Auvergne is a part of our country, so when can we stop uh, start in getting you into the nation? Okay, so we can start it as soon as we hit the 190 with them, which is good. So then we can get Auvergne as a part of the nation. Just establish our... Yeah, it will actually make our... F it will make the border still a bit crazy, but it will feel as if we own more in uh, France at least. Well, we do own more with one extra province, but uh, if you get what I mean, I mean, it, it, it we get another po a dagger into the area that France controls. But what we really need is France out of that coalition. Then we can attack them. They have lost their alliance with Austria. Oh my god. Yes, this is and Austria is being killed again? Huh. Seriously, Austria is just crumbling now. Venice is taking more of them, most likely. I like that a lot. Austria being crumbled. Not being... Yeah, they do have the very, very big leaders. And right now they have three voting for them, which is okay. But uh, Milan... Oh. Well, that might not take long if we can get Milan out of the way. Oh, it was Denberg, Denmark and Magdeburg. So, hmm. Ungrateful natives again. They would go for a royal marriage, though. Despite the fact that we are pissing them off completely, I suppose. 
Uh, what's this? Um, Swiss pretender rebels. Electors have elected. Okay, so another Austrian leader. And how is he? Four for six. Wow. It's a regency though, but still. Well, royal marriages. Eight royal marriages. Holy crap. Anyway, that's just way too many. Uh, how are our royal marriages doing? Anyway, so our alliances are good. Ovan. Um, yeah, are we not royal married? Why are we not married with them? Great Britain, oh, because they're a bureaucratic despotism. Controlled by state officials, primarily concerned with procedural correctness. A 656, holy crap. That's an extremely good leader. I'm saying, yeah. Oh, he's been discovered again here. At least the maximum penalty is only minus 40, so... They're not in the coalition still. Um, yeah, these Swiss people, I would love to help them out. Uh, our natives rise up, so... Can I not ask them for uh, access action? Yeah, they would do that though, so let's see. Let's move them to Brysko first. 54%, 87%. Improving relations, uh, you're almost done though. Ooh, 185 suddenly. How did that go up so fast? Oh, end of the year, aggressive expansion just dropped insanely. Sardinia declares war on Venice. Good moment for them to do that. I mean, France is still broken, so they would get into the war with the coalition, and that war can be won. I mean, the Platinate is not strong, Switzerland is not strong, and I feel that if we help them out right now, that it will be um, very helpful for us. Oh, hello. We just... Um, stability drop. Charles II is now our leader. So, But we're still at 2 stability, which is just fine and dandy. So let's help the Swiss kill off that guy. That might give us uh, a bonus. And might make them happy and leave the... Co no, it doesn't make them happy at all because they're at a very high amount. Yeah, we did take land from them. Um, so yeah, let's cancel the military access then. It's no use to be in it then, but at least then these silly rebels are not going around there anymore. So Bohemia sieging. Um, Poland was sieging. Wow, Poland is big again. I think they were a lot smaller earlier. But then again, there's of course the blob of Sweden. Yeah, Denmark is a non-issue in that war. Magdeburg would be the strongest if we were to attack uh, Milan right about now. I think... Ah, Sardinia left the coalition. Let's attack! They have allied with Great Britain. Oh, hello. So if we do this, um, call willing allies. Great Britain, they are wiling a foreign war on the same side as the enemy. So they cannot join me and they would earlier join them. Who's at war with Austria, Augsburg, Bohemia, Aragon, and Portugal? In that war, they're actually winning? How? What? Oh, what? Fur, that's good. I like fur. Even though, in reality, fur is not to be... Yeah, it's not that good, but... Anyway, on with the show. Fouts were still doing the... Uh, Honorable thing of claiming it. I think we should just claim Westfalen. So, fabricate claim on the Westfalen. Oh wow, it just takes a year. It's pretty damn fast, I must say. Um, improvements. Wow, we're making money at high rates. So, I feel that more constables for even more money will be good. So, 1.6s. Um, new heir to the throne. Oh, we've been s discovered by the sneaky bastards. So, uh, Moonstar. That means all the 1.4s. Now the 1. Point no, there's another. And some 1.2s as well. There we go. We can still build more in the soon. Oh, Magdeburg's opinion improved for free. Uh, let's just start converting another place because it's... Uh, 
No longer claim Overan. Oh, that's just so sad because we cannot in any way start our uh, annexation of them right now, can we? Three, two, one, and annex them. War exhaustion is well. We still have some war exhaustion. Anyway, it will take eleven years at this point. So let's start it. It will be fine. It will be ours. It will be glorious. But we're still exhausted. Oh, only slightly though. We're almost out of our war exhaustion. So military power. Yeah, I th I think I think it's it would be. F How is our tech actually doing then? I think it would be fine at this point to just pick the quality idea and start filling it up. I mean, diplomatic will be good to get, but we have the military power available, so we might as well do it. I mean, oh well. So how is our trade now looking? 16.6, 32, and we're getting every part of that. Oh, that's so good. And we're actually getting more area in Frankfurt as well. The province of Moose Cree is now considered a part of our patrimony. Very good. Um, which means that we can build the rampart here. Uh, how are the other areas doing? Ojibwa. I feel that it's time to just take over the Euron, isn't it? They're not in a coalition with me. They're not allied with anyone. We don't have diplomats to send. Ah, Palatinate. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, we're almost done. Uh, you are the finest, even better. So yeah, I believe we should be able to claim a lot more from the Euron. Not everything, I mean, don't need no need to get greedy. This just looks a little bit silly, because I know the British have a lot behind here as well. Maybe we should just start colonizing these areas as well. Oh wow, a 5? This is actually worth 5, so I think these two will be... Uh, gain the conquest causes belly. And the Euron declare war. Show superiority. Only 20% aggression to take the land of them. The Hansa declared war on Brandenburg. So let's start a war with the Euron. And they have no allies. So we split you in half. One goes to Ottawa. One goes to Euron. And see if we have any kind of people in here. So that will be the end of this episode. Let's keep it within the 30 minute limit. I set myself for most of my videos. And that also means that you're not that burnt out keeping track of all my videos because I'm kind of making a lot of them already. I'm, I'm very, I mean, within two weeks I should hit the, uh, hit the 200 video mark and that's within three months of starting this channel. So that's very good. Anyway, there should be a button on the screen somewhere to make an easy subscription. Probably might be here. I might forget that I say that I put it here. And then suddenly over here, or over here. But yeah, it's an easy link for you to subscribe to the channel to keep track of this Let's Play and any of my other Let's Plays as well. Other than that, I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you guys later. Holy crap, that diplomat takes 132 days to get back home from the Euron. But he went there instantly. What? Oh, this game.